What's going on YouTube? This is Favorite Brandon TV coming at you with another video. Guys, I'm going to do this review for this season. Braxton Family Values. We are the Braxtons and you'll see. Guys, OMG, please don't get me started with this season. Let me get on my head. This has been a big blow up on this season, guys. It's been so much going on between these girls. I love me some Tony, Tracy, Trina, Twanda, Tamar, I love them girls with all my heart. I wish them the best in their careers. But in order for them to get together without all the arguing, I would just love to see them do an album. Now, see, all, they was focusing on with this season of trying to get a new album together. Y'all know they was trying to spend weeks and weeks weeks on, on working on this album because they and getting away from family just to focus on this album, this this Braxton album. Guys, it's long overdue, okay? They need to get that shit together and do this album, okay? They ain't getting no younger. No shade. They ain't getting no younger, okay? They ain't getting no younger. But anyway, I love the Braxtons with all my heart, but this was the most shadiest season ever. I'm going to say it again. This was the most shadiest season ever. It's been Tamar versus her, and Tamar versus this, and Tamar did that, and Tamar did that. Okay. Let's get to the nitty gritty. Let's get to this. Let's get to this. Guys, okay. Okay, I, I admit sometimes maybe Tamar don't always make the right decisions and she don't always come correct, but she does have her points in certain, in certain situations. And I know, oh, please don't let the Tamar just come back to me for this, but I know, okay, y'all, yeah, this is no shade towards Tamar at all, Tamarshans, because I'm a Tamarshan myself, so get that right, okay? But anyway... It's been so much going on on this season. Y'all don't have the slightest idea. The, the situation with Dr. Sherry. The, the situation with Tawanda. With nobody cares about my feelings. Nobody cares about me. OMG. I think that was probably another one of the most biggest blowouts on this season. Tawanda went off. And I really hate seeing her like that because I never usually see Tawanda. I'm like, what's going on with my Tawanda? My poor Trina was crying. But anyway, they, it was so much getting in between them trying to make this sister album. It didn't make no sense. The Bar Chicks party. Oh, it was just so much going on. Gabe and the fearing, y'all. It was so much going on on this show. But I loved it. I loved it. I loved it. The, but the big blowout, they was, they was, I'm going to tell you, they argued over the most stupidest shit. Okay, about who fans was better than whose, who had the best dress, and who didn't have light perception, and who didn't do this, and who did that. Okay, I really like the Braxtons with all my heart, but the shade is out of control. Like Tamar was saying, I'm sick of shade. She said, she said to herself, she's sick, of, she's sick of it. All right, and we all was sick of the shade, okay, because it was too much going on, okay. We'll take with, with, with them, but I'm glad in certain situations they did, however, have fun moments when 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 they seen Logan, it seemed like it was bringing them together. When they found that that he made his when he had had his first walks and baby walks and stuff like that, I thought that that was interesting. But at the same time, it was just a lot of he say she say stuff getting in the way, and I think that, that was affecting the relationship between all the girls, and it didn't do anything. It didn't do anything to solve the problems at all. It just caused more conflict. Like Mama E was saying in some of the episodes, it just was so much going on with them because they was not focused on making an album at all. And I think that they should still make this album, okay? Or single or whatever they're trying to come out with because they have beautiful voices. When they come together, they sound like angels, okay? And I was very sad to find out about Michael Braxton because he was He's the the father of the family, and he, you know, don't want to see none of his his girls fighting and stuff like that. So he always does what he can to bring them, you know, bring them close together. And him and Mama E. But the situation when he was when he had his seizure, okay, I thought that that was sad, and it seemed like it was bringing all the girls together. They weren't arguing, they weren't doing nothing. But I think. That just like Brax, Michael Braxton was saying, it shouldn't have to take nothing bad for something to happen in order for 
you to grow your relationship. It it shouldn't be like that. It should just be y'all fighting, getting it over with, talking to prime mouth and squashing it. Okay, because I know usually when situations happen like that with families, it's hard sometimes. The words you say. You know, it come out wrong, and you can't take back what you say, like Michael Braxton said today. You can't take back what you said. But anyway, I I, I was I was enjoying seeing Tony, you know, doing her um um uh, Broadway sessions again. They showed a little bit of that during the season. I love the fact that Tracy is doing so well with her debut album because the girl has a beautiful voice, and y'all know I did I did the, when I did the review for the album. Oh. I, I so enjoyed that album. It's amazing. Her voice is amazing. She did a good job for her first. Uh, I'm glad that they showed, you know, the stuff that was going on. Uh, and Tamar, you know, as she was doing her stuff, you know, preparing for her tour and things like that. Now, the situation about when the girls came out, oh, I do agree. I think that they probably should have let Tamar know when they was if they was gonna do something instead of just coming out there trying to surprise. Because sometimes surprise being surprised ain't always good. So I did agree with Tamar when she was saying, "Well, uh, maybe they maybe it should have been in a different way." And it was a good approach, but it should have it should have been in a different way instead of just them coming out surprised. Now you know coming to the girl show without letting her know. But you know, cause she didn't know that that was gonna happen. But at the same time, some of the time, some some things that come up, maybe Tamar don't know how to handle the situation all the time. But you know, it, everything works out at the end of it. Okay, I was glad I didn't see much outbursts from Tony because usually Tony be the one to, to lash out when things really get start getting tough with them. But it wasn't no big lashes out from her. But Tawanda, oh my god, it wasn't no big blowouts from. Tracy, not really, you know, but it, you know it. It is what it is. These girls, we have seen these girls ever since the year 2011. What they go through in their life situations, you know. We watched Tony as she went through the bankruptcy. We watched Tawanda being being the assistant for Tony. We watched Tamar struggling trying to, to try to get her solo career together. We watched Tracy figure out what she was gonna try to do. Was she gonna be successful on radio? We watched so many things on Braxton Family Values. I don't know if this is just the end of the season for right now, if they're going to bring it back. But if they do bring it back, please, I would love to see what's going on with these girls. If they making an album, if they ain't making an album, you know, it's so frustrating that these girls are not making an album. That I'm very sad about. But at the same time... I love this show. I love the girls. They do an epic job. I would just love for them to have a better relationship instead of, and stop arguing and get this music together because times is ticking. You know, they ain't getting no younger. No shade. Like I said, no shade. But they ain't getting no younger. And they, 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 they need to just do it and just put it out. And I would just love to see that. I would just love to see that. Would find out the day when none of them are having an argument. They all just do an album and get it over with. So I can catch my damn life at the end of it. Okay, so I can buy that album and have it in my collection. Okay? Yeah. But I love this show. It's been a ride. I don't know what's going to happen on Tamar and Vince. It's like it's going to be a lot of shady stuff going on in there. I'm going to get a review for that. But guys, I would love for you guys to give me your input and your, your, your comments and your feedback um, on what you think. The sisters should do to make their relationship better because, you know, it, it, it's not worth it. At the end of the day, it's not worth to argue over who he say, she say, shit. It's not worth it. So, give me your input. Give me your thoughts. Make sure you click that like button, guys. The like button, please. And please just tell me what you thought about the season. If you thought this was the most craziest season if you thought this was the if you thought this was the most um I don't know just give me your thoughts and I I one one other thing I like to point I love uh seeing behind the scenes of Tracy's last call video I was glad that Tamar was a part of the video y'all the video was nice by the way but the 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 situation between Tracy with the dude it didn't seem like everything was going good with them but it seemed like it worked out at the end and I'm I'm proud of Tracy I'm proud of all of them. So, give me your thoughts. This is Forever Brandon TV. Deuces.